Hello there, chosen ones. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sense of Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. Go ahead and hit that like button as you come on in here. Much appreciated. Share the messages when you feel resonation. And also subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. All of your support is greatly appreciated. If you already subscribed, much love and big up yourself. So chosen ones, let's look at some messages for you. These will be general messages, so they may all not, um, they all may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest, let them fly. Breathe in with me here. Do so, chosen ones. Welcome your energy in. Let's get some accurate messages out for you. Translation. Knowledge. Power. Focus. Determination. Being stern. Values. Being guided by light, the truth. And law will play out here in the heat of the moment and two energies colliding that felt like I'm re i was reading the news what was that um <laughs> and then we uh, have eyes full of stars daydreaming queen of cups energy that feels like uh you know who is this this feels like a person that i would know daydreaming a person this person has a vision like a plan a scheme even though it's the Queen of Cups, I feel like this person um, it could be villainous, a bit in intentions, but may exterior, but, but may present or uh, as someone homey or loving or caring. But behind it, it's like the, a feminine villain who would present as being motherly and loving and caring. But behind the scenes, she's working on something else with the Nine of Pentacles. This person is a daydreamer too. Could be a water sign, really. You know, no one's perfect, and um, or or an earth sign. Um, yeah, this definitely planning. See, because she's definitely she's backed up here by the seven of swords, planning behind, behind how she represents. Okay, so know that chosen ones. All right, let us get it. So, I feel like the queen of swords here represents chosen ones. Um, speaking the message, maybe not interested in certain follies, really being warrior-like in vibration right now, disciplined, focused, multitasking, um, being militant, respecting respecting your ancestors with the sun energy of the three of pentacles. Also taking care of your external because beauty is important. Remember, you're a beautiful creation. So appearance, even though we may say it's not important but it is it's relevant because how you feel inside it represents how you look externally so do take care of your appearance and um, remember that we do live in a beautiful world so just try to look your best that's how i feel you have a creative 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 mind you're taking that genius and focusing it out to manifest something material with a sun vibration what is this material success and abundance with the sun energy you're still your material in something divine a full expression as if you are about to break out of your shell this break out of your shell it feels like i don't want to lose that it's it's when it's a, it's something breaking out of their shell it, it's an animal i don't it's not a crab it was something else something of the water is the way in which it breaks out of the shell that's why it is important this specific creature okay what is it it's the way in which it does so. like uh, is it a mollusk huh all right so the three of pentacles is divine full expression it's like flourishing vibrant expression graced truthfulness they're coming with the word and the truth and the light the way the sun you have my attention and forgiveness here um so just being healed and blooming as brightly as you can okay so now we're going to look at past future current energies 
for you. Chosen one. If the message I have been resonating with you so far, do go ahead and hit the like button. All right. So now we have the magician card like this one. Oh, yeah. This is something. It is everything. But it's one thing. Just so you know, it's like the, sh the movies you watch and a certain intention behind that. The things you see on media and, and then some. It's like that Katy Perry song, Chained to the Rhythm, Ten of Cups. You know what I mean? Like beneath the dome mentality chain to the rhythm it's like this magician was an illusion uh, this that presented the illusion like this is a the screen that keeps playing and telling you you're happy live a happy life ooh, 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 in happy land basically this is what the magician energy is and it's huge and i don't know it just is a spell that can be broken okay oh me all right so that's that was the past energy for chosen ones and yeah, I mean, life is happy, life is beautiful here, children, homelands, celebrating. I feel like this is a, this can be taken away from you. Like you don't own any of this. You know what I mean? It's, it's like it's a facade. That's what I'm saying with the magician energy. It's an illusion. You're happy like, oh, but it's almost like I know you don't own any of it. None of it really belongs to you, you know? And, and I feel like I could be speaking from the person that actually owns it and the people that actually own these things. They're like, look at them being happy. And they don't own it. They actually, this is, this is, this is something. They're actually paying us millions of dollars to, to run around happy on a plot of land. Yay. So that's the magician energy where all chain to the rhythm. Exert, exert, exit, move. Someone deserted. If there are deserters, or whatever you call them, the free thinkers, the page of wands, those that have a different intuition or feeling, that are looking for something else, these are the ones that feel like in us the, one, the ones in the movies that end up finding that there's a wall that they can climb through these are the explorers the adventurers the ones that don't always say yes you know the <laughs> the hippies the witches all the beautiful the souls like that that are connected to the, their earth their ancestry their magic their charm their manifestation powers their spirit their guides even when they don't know they just feel like i'm just going to go that direction okay guys and they go that direction and end up finding that this they were living under a dome all along so they try to find a way out but you know this is the one that probably gets in trouble a lot too um yeah this person also may have attachment to things, um, things, maybe sexual things like lower nature desires, but not very low because they're actually page of one. So, but maybe single or in an open relationship. Why is that important? I'm talking about you chosen ones too. I feel like that's where you were in your past and you came up on a lot of things, you know, this awakening or this moving away or move, just finding a different path. Other than what's beneath this dome, you, you encountered, it's like the dark night of the soul. What? Oh, my battery is low. Thank God for the sunlight. All right, so we're going to continue. So a lot of things ended like detox. You went through some transformation, lost some connections. You found some things out. Celebrate a lot, a lot, a lot in your past, okay? So we're looking at your current energy now. We have the six of swords. So now I feel you found a gift you're giving. You may be giving for free also, just sharing yourself, you know. Um, it, it makes you feel balanced, um, open to receiving. 
feels like you're just you're like in purpose kind of like you found something that you're good at and you're really just giving going around even if it's just doing music for free and not getting paid for it it's like you're just doing something just giving of yourself it makes you feel like it feels like a nomad kind of energy as well um yeah this is what you're currently doing so you found it yeah, i said you found that valuable thing you're giving i feel like there's space for you to receive so you may be making money on the side and stuff like that but you're you're just really focused on sharing off yourself and actually while you're sharing you're also feeling out the environment getting yourself um maybe acquainted with the materialistic world so finding balance in spiritual and material as well uh, maybe you're back in the dome so to speak um making some money here and not just making money but it's like you're searching for something anywho um then we have the seven of wands which feels like you know you have the strength the upper hand in any situation follow your heart your solar plexus vibration as well your passion your desires um fight for what you believe in you're going to be doing that and it feels strongly powerfully confidently like a young lion like a teenage lion who is just becoming you know you've just found out who you are lion is a very appropriate word in this system to say zion um iron lion zion so it's like you you're a young a teenage lion that's just found his pride basically with the seven of wands and you're just beginning to find that fire to stand up for what you really believe in and you're leaving your mark here on earth if your heart is like you're making moss grow on where it didn't used to grow on stones before you, just with the energy you bring whatever passion anxiety anger love whatever that frequency is that you bring it's in the it's, it's in music as well you could be like a pied piper energy where you just play your frequency wherever you go you leave a little bit of your soul there current that's your current energy it can also be in work the energy you're exerting in work in your field of work day to day getting up seven days per week doing what you do hustling making it work um all of that i do feel like you could be alone or not like single not in a relationship um there could be mental things that you're dealing with thoughts feelings emotions that target you ish sometimes things that you're working on but like i say you have the upper hand in the situation you're, you will be getting some message maybe coming from overseas maybe a message from your ancestors coming into your home a lot of uh, intense feelings um something in writing perhaps across the lands coming toward you okay let's look at your current your future energy where's my battery so let's look at this in the future oh no 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 that's not right we took this already in the future we have the ace of cups which I feel you'll be getting an overflow of love coming toward you from the divine, a blessing, a gift, a treasure, something angelic. Like you found a source of love, really. Unlocked it. Where did it come from? So something will happen in you an awakening in you are you going to meet love oh this could be a love you're going to meet a new love the ace of cups because they're going to shift your vibration it's like you weren't focusing on love like i said i feel like you're single but then this 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 person that's feeling this love comes in And it gets your attention and it's well let's let's look at something oh. could be a business connection something having to do with work money values sharing value sharing valuable time twin flame energy possibly okay 
And then in the future, chosen one, you'll also be receiving from the Knight of Pentacles some financial stability or something that makes you feel more balanced, more full, more sturdy, something that you've been working on. It's coming in. It's arrived here with the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe a check or a payment or where is it coming from? Coming from where to you? It's coming directly to you. What is this? It's like someone bringing you a crate full of avocados. It feels like fruit or food. Right to your home. Okay. See if I can get a clarifier for that. Flowers are gifts. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe it's not a person. It's like some it's the king of cups a blessing then a huge blessing with the ace of cups as well that's going to cause a shift a great shift like the five of pentacles you can see it or feel it coming something you know in your soul that resonates maybe it's a financial blessing Oh my gosh. It's like pave the way for this financial blessing. New feelings. Yeah. What is the five of pentacles? You're going to be moving forward. Oh my it's like you're going to be taking up yourself all that you value and possess and care about and even your feelings and emotions your integrity all of that and you're going to move to a place where you feel like home of love maybe you're going to be giving your love also to this person to intertwine um let me ask soulmates i don't know see oh my god the six of hearts so could be soulmates an old past person coming back around to you so maybe lessons to learn but um so that's what i have for you in this one i'll see you in the next one my battery and thank you for coming through on your way out do hit the like share button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet your support is abundantly appreciated thank you next time remember that all is within you you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all all is within you bye